Hi guys in this video we'll be talking about Newton's third law of motion we all know the statement which is every action has equal and opposite reaction but what is action what is reaction and what is the meaning of this statement let's understand by few examples let's say i have a car which is moving towards right and there is a signboard ahead which says don't read this message probably a stupid signboard and driver reads it and you know the consequence he hits the signboard so now there will be a force on the signboard due to the car and similarly there will be a reaction on the car which we call as force on the car due to the signboard so the action was car hitting the signboard and the reaction was signboard applying the force back on the car so newton's third law says that these forces the magnitude of these forces are always equal so the magnitude of the force on the car due to the signboard is equal to the magnitude of the force on the signboard due to the car let's understand this law in much detail by breaking them into few points the first one is the magnitude of these forces are always equal as i just said the force on the car due to the signboard is equal to the force on the signboard due to the car the second one is they act always in opposite direction you just saw that the action was towards right while the reaction was towards left and the third probably the most important point here i want to stress is action and reaction pair never act on same body i see many of them making this mistake when they write free body diagram just know that action and reaction never acts on same body in the above diagram we saw that the action was towards the right which was on the signboard while the reaction was on the car which was towards the left and you clearly see that they are acting on two different objects and the fourth one is nature of the forces are always same what do i mean by this is you cannot have normal force as an action and gravitational force as the reaction let's say i have a sun and earth we know that both of them are attracted towards each other due to a gravitational force now i have a force on the sun due to the earth which is pointed towards right similarly i have force on the earth due to sun which is pointed towards left to see that the magnitude of these forces will be equal they are acting in opposite directions they are also acting on two different objects and at the same time both of them are gravitational forces so now that we have understood these points let's solve some examples to understand to make our understanding much better so let's say i have a monitor which is placed on the table we know that every object is pulled towards the earth so will be this monitor let's say force on the monitor due to earth what is the third law pair for this or what is the reaction for this force many of you may tend to say it's the normal force on the monitor upwards that's where you are wrong remember that this force is a gravitational force the reaction also should be a gravitational force so it's the force on the earth due to the monitor which is pointing upwards you clearly say that uh, see that the forces are in opposite direction and they are acting on two different bodies and both of them are gravitational forces coming back to our example of monitor and the table there is another force on the monitor which is normal force upwards this normal force is on the monitor due to the table what is the third law pair for this or the reaction for this the reaction for this is normal force on the table due to the monitor which is in opposite direction again you see both of them are normal forces they are acting in opposite direction and they will be of equal magnitude so from third law of newton we get that force on the monitor due to earth is equal to force on the earth due to the monitor similarly force on the monitor due to table is equal to the force on the table due to monitor which are normal forces in this case and uh, you see that in the first example they were gravitational forces in the second example they are normal forces i hope this has and reached your understanding for newton's third law of motion and it has helped in some sense thank you